Hey everyone, Basic MTB here. I was out riding, it's a beautiful day. I thought I would pull over and do a quick bike check for you on my Polygon Cisco N7. Uh, I'm not a competitive biker, I just do it for fun. You know, I don't get all hung up on the measurements and angles. Um, I, I really just rate a bike on how much I enjoy it, how excited I am to get out and ride it. And uh, going by those criteria, this bike is amazing. Uh, I get out almost every day on it just because I enjoy it so much. Um, if you want the measurements, they're online. I'm not going to go through all that little detail. I'm just going to talk about a couple of things I do like and a couple of things that I don't like about the bike. So first off, uh, a lot of folks consider, you know, $3,000 to be entry level. And um, that's, that's a little bit ridiculous for most of us. Uh, to, to me, you know, three grand is, is a lot of money, and this comes in under three grand, and I think you're getting a lot uh, for your dollar. Um, so look at the components. You know, most bikes from Trek, Giant, Specialized, uh, you're looking at like a RockShox, you know, Recon Fork, whereas this one comes with a Yari, your, uh, your rear shock, it's a Fox DPS float, um, you know, super nice for, for under three grand. Um, so let's talk about some of the things I really do like about the bike. Let's start from the uh, the back and go forward. So, nice 12-speed Shimano Dior. Um, I wanted the Shimano over the SRAM just because the, uh, the, the SX is a little bit underbuilt for the price. Whereas um, the, the Shimano series, they're all designed the same way. Um, but the difference is you're just paying for lighter materials. So you still have the design of a very high spec, high end um, drivetrain, but at, at the price of, you know, the, the Dior, obviously. Um, as I mentioned, 12 speed, one by 12, no front derailleur, that cuts off some weight and makes the, uh, the driving much more intuitive, only one shifter. So, big fan of the transmission. And it's a, uh, it's a clutch system um, with a releasable clutch right here. You just flip this up and down to engage or release the clutch gives you a lot of chain tension um I, I don't really have any any chain smacking but i did put some protection on here just in case um, i'll make a separate video about all the different protection things that i did on this bike because i did quite a few uh in terms of various wraps and fenders and clear tape and all that um bike's about to fall over So let's see, what I do like about it, uh, I swapped out the pedals. It actually came with some, some really nice uh, aluminum studded pedals. And if you don't have any pedals already, uh, use the ones it came with, they're, they're really nice. I had these race face chesters on my old bike and I'm used to them, I like them a lot. So I went ahead and threw these on. Um, but don't, you know, you don't have to buy uh, new pedals with when you get this bike. Um, let's keep moving. The dropper post. So I was a little disappointed by the dropper post because it's it's frankly it's too long. This bike is a size medium. Um, I was right in the center of the, the the medium height measurement, so this bike should be perfect for me. Um, I think I'm about five seven, but this post, even though it's all the way uh, as far in as it'll go, um, it's it's still too high at full extension. So I have to, to bump it down about an inch um, when I'm climbing, which is kind of a pain. Uh, I, I don't know why they could have put just a slightly smaller post for the uh, size medium. Um, the seat, it's, it's pretty firm. If you like a firm seat, this is fine for you. It's, it's more firm than I'm used to. But, you know, unless you're riding, you know, over two hours, you'll be fine. If you're riding more than two hours, I'd probably put a, uh, a different seat on it. Um, as I mentioned, Fox DPS float, real nice uh, rear shock, handlebars. Um, of course, they're aluminum at this price range. They are very wide. Uh, it comes with, fix this. So it comes with a, uh, a 780, I believe, 780 mil handlebar on all sizes because they expect that you're going to have to cut it. And they'd rather give you something that's too long so you can cut for something that's too short, then you got to replace. Um, I'll probably end up cutting these because there are some narrow spots on the trails that I ride and I've had some, some very close calls on hitting these handlebars. 
Uh, let's see, shifter, of course, regular Shimano DR12 speed. Um, brakes, these are Shimano's, I think they're the 180 mil. Uh, if, you, if you ever Google the, the Shimano brakes, people frequently say that they're um, too grabby and they're hard to, to modulate. I, I don't know what folks are talking about. I have no problem modulating these. Um, you know, when I, when I grab them hard, they grip hard, which is what I want, but I can also feather it just fine. Um, so I, you know, nothing but good things to say about these brakes. And of course they are mineral oil. So in case for some reason you, you spill some of it on your bike, it's not going to just destroy your paint because, uh, dot fluid stuff that comes in SRAM brakes, that'll just wreck your paint. Um, going up to the front, as I mentioned, it's the, uh, Rock Shock Yari. These are, I'd say they're probably the, the number three on the, the Rock Shocks, um, fork list. Not quite as nice as the, the Pike or the, um, the Lyric, but still, I mean, this is an amazing fork for, for this price range. You're not going to get a better fork on a bike under three grand. Um, tires, Schwalbe Magic Marys. These are some beastly tires. Uh, I know that Maxxis is kind of the hot thing right now, uh, but man, these things, they just grip so hard. Um, I've ridden them in the mud, in the snow, even in some ice, and they, they just grab onto anything. Um, you know, I'll admit I've taken some pretty bad lines over some sharp rocks, and these things just shrug off pointy rocks like they're nothing. They're, they're super tough. Uh, I think they're two and a half inches wide. Um, and of course, some, these are 29s. Uh, but yeah, killer tires. I like them a lot. Uh, I did switch out to tubeless. So you can see I put a fun little gold stem in there. And of course, the um, sealant. The, the rims come with tape already, so you don't got to put tape on. Just yank that tube out, put a valve in, put some sealant in, and you're good to go. Um, these have a through axle, not a quick release. So they're they're very very rigid. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, you know, I'll keep this short. In any case, uh, check out basicmtb.com. Um, I got a bunch of gear reviews on there. Uh, I'm always building things at home, um, whether it's you know bike stands or shop tools or whatever. Uh, just come check it out, um, including this this front fender here. Um, I just made a Instagram and Twitter. Uh, I'm not really good at the social medias, so, you know, I might be a little bit slow on those. Um, but I, I'd love to hear your feedback. Uh, hit me up on, on either of those and I'll try and get back to you. And I'd love to see some pictures of what you all are doing to your bikes. Um, maybe do like a, a submission video. That could be fun. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, have a great day.